And then three golden hair. I've seen a lot of builds where they only run two. I do like this card at three. When it's in your hand, you can discard one of your Plunder Patrol monsters to special summon it, which is really nice because you can get a uh, white beard off. Hey, how's it going, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a deck profile for Plunder Patrol. So, hopefully, if you guys are trying to build this deck, this can give you a pretty good guideline on how to do it. Uh, if you do enjoy this, leave a like, comment any questions or suggestions. Always nice to see in the comment section down below. And if you're new, consider subscribing, it is very much appreciated. Let's go ahead and get right into the deck. Of course, you want to run three of the main guy, uh, Whitebeard. This guy is the one you always want to see in your opening hand. Um, when he's on the field during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can tag him out for one of your extra deck monsters and he becomes an equipped spell, which is pretty awesome. That's like the unique playstyle of Punter Patrol for a lot of the main deck monsters, you're able to do that. And uh, when he's sent from the hand or monster zone to the graveyard, you get to special summon a Punter Patrol from the deck, which is uh, really good. Um, helps you get into your red beard, which is the next one. Of course, a three red beard. Uh, this one is has the same effect during the opponent's uh, turn. Quick effect, uh, tag out into an extra deck monster. Uh, but its secondary effect is when it's sent from the hand or face of, on the field to the graveyard, you get to equip it to one of your monsters. So just house with those extra equips, which works really well with the field spell, which we'll all get to soon. And then three golden hair. I've seen a lot of builds where they only run two. I do like this card at three. When it's in your hand, you can discard one of your Plunder Patrol monsters to special summon it, which is really nice because you can get a uh, white beard off. And then if it's in your graveyard, you can discard one card to special summon it, which is really nice. Helps extend or, you know, make plays when uh, you're just in need of an extra monster. Because there's a lot of times if you go up a against a deck that doesn't have too many different attributes, which they all re revolve around, I forgot to mention that, uh, the, the opponent has to have, you know, light dark or um, fire for them to tag out uh, with their you know unique effects uh, so if you're in a situation where they're all running uh, dark monsters or all light and you run out of those targets in your extra deck uh, you need to rely on being able to do the rank 4 plays and uh, links and all that I and mean, this helps out a lot Next, another nice little extender and a, a kind of a starter too sometimes to go in like uh, turn two, turn three and stuff like that. Um, black eyes. This card is really good. Um, you can target one of your Plunder Patrol monsters in your graveyard, special summon this card, and then if you do, return that target back to the hand. Uh, so a really nice way to get Whitebeard back and uh, you know all that good stuff. And then if it's sent from the hand or uh, filled to the graveyard, you get to special summon one of your equipped Plunder Patrol monsters. So pretty cool. And then just two of the Bluebeard. Um, you can special summon it if you control a Plunder Patrol monster. And then um, if it's in the graveyard, you can discard one card and draw one card. Or if you uh, send it from the hand or the field to the graveyard. For the hand traps, three effect Veiler. Uh, I just prefer this over running 3 Ash, which I only run 2, uh, but the effect veiler is just really nice because you can stop uh, Verte and uh, just a lot of nice effects and this can be a really good interruption for a lot of uh, plays. And then of course the 2 Ash, I decided to only run 2 just because I don't like running a heavy hand trap build. Uh, this is not the type of playstyle I like doing. Um, but of course, Ash is really good to stop searches, uh, summons from the deck, and sending to the graveyard, of course. And that'll do it for the monsters. Off to the spells, the draw power, three pop desires. Um, really, I feel this uh, pop desires is very free in this deck. It just helps you get those extra cards if it goes off, of course. And you're running so many three ofs, it's just never really a bad thing unless you activate pot and then draw two more pots that's the only way it's going to be truly terrible and then uh two emblem might bump this up to three that's really nice it gives the equipped monster 500 attack and then you can do the tag out ability by sending it to the graveyard and then the monster it was equipped to becomes an equipped spell and then another one i'm consider considering bumping up to three and that is the uh plunder patrol shipyard uh, this is really nice to open Especially if you have Whitebeard, because you can discard, get Whitebeard's effect, and the search. So, very nice. 
and then uh, I do run the one terraforming alongside it and then one force burial for the golden hair that'll do it for the spells now uh, I do run a lot of traps that a lot of other decks do not play so if you don't like trap builds um, you can run a lot more hand traps like uh, Nibiru and um, uh, what's his what's his name uh, I'm forgetting his name but he special summons himself when uh, there's a link monster on the field I, sorry about that next the planet patrol booty this is really nice uh, when you activate it you declare an attribute by targeting one of your opponents face up monsters it becomes that attribute and then you can uh, target a monster in your graveyard and either special summon it or shuffle it back into the, de the deck which is really nice. You can get white beard and red beard to get uh, the extra plays going from the extra deck. And then uh, you have to control a Plunder Patrol monster or it goes to the graveyard, which isn't a big deal. Usually you will have the um, Plunder Patrol monster. Then next, three infinite impermanence, just for more interruption, of course. And I do run the three strikes. I feel that in a like lower tier deck like this, um, I, w I don't know really what tier it is, I'm, I don't want to say it's 1.5, but uh, for my specific build I do like the strike just for that extra help. And then of course, uh, just this card I really do enjoy it, it's a really nice card crackdown. Being able to interrupt your opponent and still one of their monsters is really nice, but of course it has the you know disadvantage being a trap and if it gets destroyed the opponent's monster goes back to them. Uh, so. Sort of un unfortunate, but uh, still, I think a lot of the times it helps more than it hurts. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right into the extra deck. That is 40 card main deck. So of course, run the two fusion. Uh, this one is nice because um, it's a monster negate and destroy. And then quick effect, you can spell some one of your equip spells uh, to the field. And then um, if it is equipped, when it does negate and destroy a monster, you get to search a Planet Patrol monster from the deck. And then two ship, uh, really nice. It gives all your fiends, which they're all fiends, 500 attack. And uh, then you can discard a Plunder Patrol card and then destroy and banish a Spell or Trap. And then if it's equipped, you get to add a um, Plunder Patrol monster from the deck. And then I run one Draco Berserk, just cause you can go into some generic gates. It's really nice cause it's a free banish basically. And then one Dragite, which is a spell and trap negate. And then I run a Totally Awesome and a Bahamut Shark because they're all water. And then of course the two ships, uh, the Exceeds. Uh, this one is really nice, the dark attribute, and you can discard a Plunder Patrol card to banish a uh, effect monster, which is really strong. And if you have an equip spell card on it, or a, a Plunder Patrol equip, you get to add a spell or trap from your deck. Then I won run the one Huggy Firebrax, and uh, the two Link for the Plunder Patrol. Uh, the Link is really nice, it's a quick effect to tag out. And then if it's used as uh, the target to equip, you get to draw a card. And then one Selene, just for the Helky Firebrax and uh, the Veiler kind of combo. Uh, alongside the Boral Sword, you should be running the um, Exco Talker, I think it is. Um, I don't have one right now, but uh, yeah, I do run the Boral Sword. And yeah, that is the deck profile. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it in some way. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.